Calvinism versus Armenianism, all right? Which is all about the place of, or even the existence of, free will. Everything you do, you should do to seek his will in your life. Now, when it comes to Calvinism and Armenianism, I believe that the truth lies in the fact that God's ways are still not our ways. And that he and he alone is sovereign. Yes. Maybe the answer is both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or either. <laughs> Paul said, for if I preach the gospel, this is Paul, okay? Mm -hmm. If I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for I am under compulsion. The King James says, necessity is laid upon me, right? For woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this voluntarily, I have a reward. But if against my will, I will have a stewardship entrusted to me. 1 Corinthians 9, verses 16 and 17. There was a man who had surrendered his will. The mechanics of this don't matter. Right. You know, that's why getting into these debates, are they really profitable? What you need to know is regardless of what you think about free will, if you're, if, you're, if you're positive that you have free will, surrender it. Right. Right. If you are positive that you don't have free will, rejoice, because your father who has your will then is a loving God. Amen. I want to give you a real simplistic example, a really simplistic example of, of the danger of free will and the fact that you have a choice. Okay? Mm -hmm. If a brother called me and said, for example, I just heard God told me that there is a man down at Burger King, a rich, rich billionaire who is a philanthropist, and he's down at Burger King, and he's handing out $100 bills to everybody that walks through the door. So this brother says, you need to get down there quick. So I hop in my car, turn the key up, push the button now, and speed right off. And go to McDonald's. Well, I like McDonald's better than Burger King. Missed out. When I get into McDonald's, am I going to get the $100 bills? Mm. Why? Because I have allowed my desire to lead me someplace where that man is not at work. All right? That's what free will can do for you. Mm -hmm. You know, years ago, back in the 70s, in the late 70s, up in New York, I, I preached a number of times, but I preached at this one small black Pentecostal church. I loved these brothers and sisters there. And they sang a song one, one time. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't re really remember the song, but I, I remember I remember what it was about. I Because that was the first time I ever heard it, and I've never heard it since. But I remember the name of the song. I want to be under the spout where the blessings come out. <laughs> I want to be under the spout where the blessings come out. Did you do his word or was it yours? Mm. You know, did he speak it to you or did he speak it to somebody else? Or did you speak it to yourself? Okay. There are a lot of ifs here. Okay. The, the fact is, if you don't obey, it's not that he's punishing you and not giving you what he promised. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's not there. If you're not obedient, if you didn't go to Burger King where he was giving it away, well, then you have no right to expect it. You know, and it says in the last days, Paul wrote to Timothy in chapter four of the third letter, the third, the second letter to Timothy. He said, in the last days, men will not endure sound doctrine. They're going to choose people who will preach according to their own desires and tickle their ears. Mm -hmm. If you do the things that you want, you're going to miss the blessings of God. It is that simple. And it's not because he's punishing you. It's because you have chosen not to be where the blessings are. It's that simple. And he is searching your heart. Always. Always. God searches your heart. And when, you know what he's searching for? Faith. And you know what faith is? It is responding to what he has spoken to you. Right. Let
Thank you.